through multiple lenses. We have a large power and land portfolio in West Texas. Uh, we currently operate an AI cloud service, but also we've recently announced a 75 megawatt liquid to chip cooling data center, which we're building in West Texas. Uh, that'll be powered by 100% renewable energy and be online in the second half of this year. In terms of water consumption, we're using a closed loop system for Horizon One. So the world is moving away from open loop and open cycle systems that consume a lot of water. Sustainability of energy, sustainability of water is really important. So we'll lose less than 0.1% of our water each year once it's in there. It's well publicised, the data centre industry needs lots of power. The growing cloud, the growing demands for AI workloads, training and inference. And when you look at West Texas, there is a lot of power. There is a lot of wind and solar. But in addition, there's a lot of land. There's also enormous fibre highways with low latency, high bandwidth, which allow communication of data within these data centres back to Dallas, back to other capital cities in order to become a really viable project. And I think as we look forward, Northern Virginia has obviously been a data centre hub historically. When you look at the fundamentals for Texas, we believe it's going to emerge as the new data centre capital of the world.